Your name is Tom. You live just off of Fifth Street. Nice car, Tom. Nice house. What's not so nice is you owe Pennsylvania $4,212 in back taxes. Listen, Tom, we can make this easy. Pay online by June 18th, and we'll skip your penalty and take half off your interest. Because, Tom, we do know who you are. Because, Tom, we are a terrorist government run by foreign banks that have looted hundreds of other nations, and we're going to take everything you've got, Tom, and we want to intimidate you, Tom. That's what the black ski mask and cameras on every street corner are about, Tom. That's why we're spiking your water with poison, Tom, to make you lethargic and cancer-prone, Tom. I remember in the last five years they've run similar ads in England, and they've got these big posters up all over London and other cities saying, secure under the watchful eye of Big Brother. They're saying Big Brother is good. We're God, Tom. We're watching you from space. You're a little man, Tom. Uh, that's what the uh, IRS in Pennsylvania is doing. They're a state internal revenue service. We're going to jack your taxes up, Tom. We don't care if you've lost your house, Tom. Nice house, nice car. We're gangsters. This is a nice grocery store you got here. Better pay us protection or somebody's going to burn it down. You know what I'm saying to you? We'll be discussing this today. I'm going to try to be extremely calm throughout the full four hours because that's the only way I'll be able to cover the gargantuan amount of incredibly vital news and information. We're seeing more New World Order in your face behavior every day than I would see in a year 15 years ago when I first got on air. It is an orgy of robbing and looting and intimidation and corruption. The government has gone bad. 99% of the time in history, that's what happens. This one's gone really, really bad. We are in societal trouble. We have got to cut the size of government. We've got to stop trusting the government. We've got to realize how criminal it is. Big Brother tax collection commercial airs in Pennsylvania. We uh, posted this on Saturday uh, when uh, Keith Farrell, who lives in uh, that area, one of our writers, uh, first noticed it, and it has gone super viral on the web. It is all over uh, major news sites now. Uh, but the Huffington Post and others are saying, hey, look, this is, uh, you know, this is a good idea. We've got to raise money. That's what the commenters are saying on their site. Other sites are horrified. Uh, we're going to be breaking this down. Orwellian Big Brother tax collection commercial airs in Pennsylvania. And we're going to go live at prisonplanet.tv so we can play all these videos. You can actually see them, not just hear them. Uh, at noon today. So coming up in one hour, second, third, and fourth hour, will be simulcast at prisonplanet.tv. Uh, Greg Pallast, BBC reporter, best-selling author, uh, will be joining us to talk about the banking takeover uh, that's happening because it was him in 2002 who got the secret IMF World Bank documents and broke them internationally on BBC, their plan to bankrupt the third world and the first world. Uh, we'll be talking to Greg Pallas coming up uh, in the third hour today. Separately, uh, this really is the top story. And I'm going to cover this first after I go over some of the other news we'll be detailing later in the transmission. All over the United States, illegal aliens and their support groups attacked buildings, set fire to buildings, beat people up, and it's in the mainstream news, but buried in the articles. They report it kind of like, oh, hey, it's supposed to be sunny, 76 today, with a chance of breezy winds by 5 p.m. It's like, oh, they had torches. They were burning down part of the downtown area. Yeah, they attacked some tea partiers, but they deserved it. And I've got TV clubs where they're like, well, the people are angry. This is pretty reasonable. May Day. It was May 1st, 2010, International Workers Communist Day. That's officially what it is. And 
in almost every case, when you research the development of communism, the promotion of it, the big, powerful central banks and the royalty of Europe needed a way to destroy the free market and the rising merchant class that was threatening their monopoly of power. So they financed the communist movement as a way to con uh, the working class uh, into accepting uh, their own enslavement. They were told, oh, we want graduated income taxes only on rich people. Then it's never enforced on the ultra-rich. The middle class is destroyed and their wealth transferred offshore. And so all over the United States, in San Francisco, this is from abcnews.com, thousands across Bay Area protest Arizona immigration law on Saturday. And buried in the article, they just calmly report that the illegal aliens beat up a counter May Day march of Tea Party people. They just announce, buried in the article, that the illegal aliens and their supporters were beating up U.S. citizens. Separately, riot breaks out in downtown Santa Cruz. This is Santa Cruz Sentinel. Windows broken on dozens of businesses. Porch of cafe set on fire. A large group of protesters marching with burning torches attacked Saturday evening with burning torches. Here's another one, Star Tribune. 18 businesses damaged after immigrants' rights march turns violent in Santa Cruz, California. Now, you have to dig around. There are scores of articles on this, but only a couple of them admit it's illegal aliens. And I've got several TV newscasts locally in Santa Cruz, uh, and this particular Star Tribune article is out of the AP that tells the truth, and you can hear people shouting, business owners, over the live TV newscast that it's illegal aliens, they did it, tell the truth, because California TV, at least the channels we've seen, would not talk about who actually did it. So you've got an active cover-up going on, but the AP got it right. Riots break out in downtown Santa Cruz, windows broken on dozens of businesses, porch uh, on cafe set on fire. Here's the AP, 18 businesses damaged after immigrants' rights march turns violent in Santa Cruz, California. Now, the media spun it that it was anarchist. Anarchy is the opposite of communist. You have a communist, illegal alien, farm workers' rights march uh, out there, and they start setting fire to buildings, fires, and you have to, I had to spend 20 minutes this morning to find that. As soon as I saw the news saying it was anarchist and it was spontaneous, I knew that was a lie from watching the video, a bunch of illegal aliens running around, burning stuff. And so I went and did a search for Immigrant March, Santa Cruz, and boom, there it was in the AP. Here's another one, San Jose Mercury News. Riot breaks out in downtown Santa Cruz, windows broken on dozens of businesses, porch on cafe set on fire. Here's the PrisonPlanet.com article that's very important for people to get out. It just went up in the last 15 minutes. Hot off the presses, PrisonPlanet.com, corporate media plays down pro-illegal immigration thugs who terrorize Santa Cruz. Imagine the national uproar if 200 Tea Partiers had gone on a rampage with burning torches. Now, that is the headline up at PrisonPlanet.com, and it is vital, absolutely vital vital to get this article out to everyone so that they understand the nature of what we face. 30 million illegal aliens in this country being enraged by the media, telling them that they've been wronged, are now in the nation openly discussing violence. Remember last week in Arizona when they attacked police and Tea Party people and then said, we're going to use our pickaxes to kill you? And that was only in the local news. They're playing this down right now. We're going to use our pickaxes to kill you. In fact, I'm going to get Carl Watson, have him add that video uh, into this. Oh, he actually has it. I tell you, that's why I love Watson. We're right on the same page. He's, he's got the video at the bottom. Illegals threaten to murder Americans with axes. So that's at the bottom. Uh, this article is so important. He's also got the local newscast from ABC7 News uh, in the article where you can hear shop owners shouting over the live news feed, you know, stop the cover-up, illegal aliens uh, did this, deport illegal aliens.